What's going on, Laura? Welcome to Beats One. Congratulations on your brand new album, Not Waving But Drowning. It was good to be here. With this album, what were the things that you focused on? Was it everything or was there like one overarching um, emotion or issue yeah. that you had that you said, you know what, even though I've got a cooking school and, you know, I feel this about education and, you know, I've got this relationship with my mom mm -hmm. and my girlfriend and my family and my friends. Was there one bit that you was like, but I want my second album to be about this? I guess it was optimism, you know, like yeah. I, I've fallen in love. I've, I've moved out of my house. I've, I, 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 I don't know, I'm able to be there for my friends, to provide for my friends and help them make money. And, mm -hmm. you know, so these are all beautiful things. It still comes with its stresses. And I think for me, that was the importance of it was kind of just talking about, I don't know, kind of talking. I, I don't think I could ever make like a happy album, but uh, optimistic album was kind right. of the best I could manage. You know what I mean, hope. and I think that yeah, that's the most beautiful thing is hope. Yeah, it's the best part. When you're at a show, when you meet people, when when you talk to people, when people come up to you and you know they tell you they're your biggest fan and they want you to sign everything that they yeah, own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it that they're saying? I don't like. For me, it just kind of feels like I'm like like one of them. There's a famous line by a rapper called Homeboy Sandman, and he's like, "Now I'm on stage when I used to be in the front row. Mm -hmm. That's like a ten foot distance. It's not a real big difference." And I, I like I like that because I. I feel like sometimes people look at me and kind of go, you're like, you're still like me. Because yeah. I'm just an average dude. I'm not, there's nothing that special about me. I, mean, I like that that's your thing though. I do like it. I think sometimes it's patronised when you say to someone, oh, you're actually a nice guy. Or you yeah, know, like someone yeah. would be like, oh, you're really normal. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think some people think that it's like, well, what do you expect me yeah, to be? Yeah, yeah, for real. But that's the thing. But that, yeah. you are really the most cool, <laughs> blessed, nice guy. There's no bit where I'm like, oh, I'm going to see Lowell today and... Do you know what I mean? Like, I appreciate that. He's going to be in like superstar mode, <laughs> coming with chains and sunglasses on. Dude, soon come, album free. <laughs> but you really do have that. And I, I appreciate I, the it. thing about me is that I always think, yeah, some people will take that as like in a, in a sort of a negative way. But yeah, yeah, for sure. You for sure. don't. That's fine. That's not negative to you. No, no, for, but it's, it's, the, it's the biggest like um, compliment I can get. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously, like, I've changed because I'm not doing all the stuff to stay the same. But mm -hmm. I think I'm getting better. I hope I'm trying to become better as a person. It's not like I'm trying to change as in like, yo, I'm a rapper now. Do you know what I mean? But like, <laughs> I'm growing up, I'm, I Talk to me different now, is, guys. Yeah, exactly, do you know what I mean? Talk to me with more slang. What is what is going to make you change, if anything? When I have kids, probably. Okay. I have to grow up even more, I guess. Um, <laughs> Can you? Is there I space? I don't know. I don't know if there's space for that. <laughs> um, there must be. Do you think children will be the only thing? Because yeah, money's not yeah, yeah. changing you, like clothes and not doing anything. No, 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 you're no, never, no. you're not like, oh, look at my new Balenciagas. No, no, no. Cars? No, no, no. I've got a bike now. You've got a push bike, push bike with yeah. a chain and everything. Yeah, yeah. Has it got mirrors or it, no, 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 a bell? No, no. Has it got just, a bell? We just got my missus a basket today for her. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> like nothing is really ever going to take you away from this person that you are. Yeah, but why would it? Do you know what I mean, like, when I was younger, this this was my dream. Do you know what I mean, I have, I have like a really, really beautiful girlfriend. I, like, <laughs> I've, got, I've got a house. I'm about to get a dog. Do you know what I mean, I get to go swimming when I want. I've got a bike. I can just leave the house when I feel like it. My mum lives in another house. She's got a new boyfriend. He's a nice guy. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> This is sick for me. She's, they've got dogs. How often do you think about all the blessings though? How often do you like, is it a daily thing when you're I try, like... I mean, I try to. I mean, like more so now, now that I'm kind of out of working on music. I am like today, like, um, me and my girlfriend, we, we just went to, we just went went swimming and we went um, cycling around just to look at all the different posters because she took all the uh, album cover artwork, right? And so we cycled around East London and just tried to find a few different um, posters because that's where they all are. So we right, went to okay. Bethel Green and Shoreditch and whatever and we stood in front of them and it was just like, she was saying thanks for you know believing in my photos, and I was like thanks for taking the photos. I mean, <laughs> but it was just it was like a little thing like that because we're, we're just this guy from bro. But I don't understand but, like but what? But you have to think raised, about it. But, but we're just we're, we're chilling, yeah. And I'm, but you have to think there's just me and her stood there on a, on a busy street, and I'm thinking like, I wrote this album, you took the photos for this album, and that's on some big billboard, and it's her. She was just like this is sick. I was like it's quite sick, isn't it? Because that's sick. Well, like, what? Who cares? I don't need a line on a chain with loads of girls shaking something. <laughs> on, do you know what I mean? That's too much. Bro, that is really, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know where you're from. I don't know what your DNA makeup is. This it's my mum, man. My mum's mom, the, the, like, the greatest human. Spoiler alert. Can you say that? Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Spoiler, Spoiler alert. alert. Um, your mum closes the album. Yeah, 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 yeah. In big style. How long did it take her to write her, I was going to call it a verse, like a yeah, 16. Yeah, yeah. It's not Jeez, a 16. How long like did it take 64. her to write <laughs> um, I was in the studio with Jordan Rakai finishing off the drums on loose ends. And I was like, yeah, I've got this idea for my mum. I'm just going to ping it to her because um, it was getting close to her birthday or whatever. So I send it. She stays in the car and she calls and she's like, I've been in the car for like, oh, I'm still crying, I can't get out. Oh my God. And I was like, I'll send you the beats. So I just sent her the instrument and I was like, write something to it. So she just wrote it. The beauty of my mum my, my mom wrote, writing that poem on the album was like, if she, um, you know, if, if you're a mum and you can't um, vocalise your emotions, but you feel like that for your son, right? So Benjamin Zephaniah, one of my favourite poets of all time, one of my heroes, and now a friend, he was saying to me, um, my mum can't um, kind of... Uh, I don't know, like vocalise her emotions. She can't explain it. First generation, um, she's come over and she, she just doesn't have the language to yeah. say like how proud she is. But yep. she is proud, right? Yep. 
And he was saying that this poem from my mum is how his mum feels. And so she can send it to him and wow. go, this is how I feel. And so that, that, I think that, that's the gift that my mum's given is wow. that you're speaking for all the mums who kind of go, oh, I don't know, I didn't study, you know, English language or go to school and study drama or do poetry or write songs. So mm-hmm. I can't express it like this, but this is how I feel, you know? So, so that's, that's a big gift for her to give to the mums of the world. That is a beautiful thing. Yeah, Benjamin Zephan was a cool dude as well, man. Obviously, Yesterday's Gone was nominated for a Mercury Prize, nominated for a Brit Award as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, Am I going yeah, crazy? yeah, yeah, that yeah. Mercury and a Brit Award, yeah. That was wild. What are you saying about this album, Lyle? <laughs> I mean, like... Is this Mercury? Is it Brits? Is it what? What do you want? I don't know. I, I don't know if it's like... I don't know. I, I don't really care. I'm like, I think the, the, the award thing for me is weird because awards mean, don't mean anything except for if you win the award. Do you know what I mean? And then it's like, you're on the <laughs> stage and it's like, oh my God, it's a big moment for me. And I think sometimes it's an incredible moment for a, like a culture or a genre of music or, you know, or even a nation of people or, you know, like a sound. Do you know what I mean? Like even when, when J, J-Hoss was nominated the same year I was nominated. Right, yeah. That's a whole new sound. It's not, it's, a, it's an old sound being brought back new with something new mm-hmm. attached to it. Do you know what I mean? But that, for me, it's like, just to, just for him to get the props on it, I wanted him to win it that year just because I was like, oh, you know, that's that's a whole that's a whole like a whole culture of people yep. who are hearing their stuff being celebrated in the mainstream. Yep. Do you know what I mean? Which then validates themselves. You know, yep. like I'm from Guyana and I'm going um, in May for the first time ever. And like the next kind of X amount of music I want to make, I think I want it to be about that and you know to only be sampling that kind of music and to only be working with musicians for, who are from out right. there because I want to understand it because I grew up with my mum who's white my stepdad was white my little brother's white do you know what I mean and, I, and I've done the whole Scottish UK English <laughs> I know that mashing. side yeah, I know that side <laughs> very well it. and I get it and I've, and, I've, and, I've, and I've explored it and expanded it and I feel like I'm starting to move on to past years new do you know what I mean you're right J Huss does represent a culture yeah. and a style of music and a group of people who maybe aren't celebrated in that space uh-huh. but I also think you do as well because I don't feel like your type of music is celebrated as much as... I appreciate it. And I appreciate it. As much as rap and hip-hop yeah, yeah, coming yeah, out yeah. of US and yeah, UK yeah, yeah. and the rest true, of the true. world. I mean, I think it's like a blessing and a curse for, for me because, you know, you think about guys like Dave, who I, who I rate highly and I know loosely, you know, and, and I can't imagine the pressure that's on, on Dave's shoulders some days. And there's pressure on my shoulders for personal life, mm-hmm. like there must be on his, but from a from a from like a commercial standpoint, because he's like the saviour, do you know what I mean? He's like the, the kid who switched on. I mean, he's a beautiful writer. He's intelligent. He cares. He's uh, compassionate, but also he's kind of he's he's not he's not a mug. Do you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. all of these things together give you like without even wanting it or needing it, you get given a responsibility because then guys are going, "You are like the the, guy re- the reason." That's like, gonna, yeah. do you know what I mean, for me not to to do bad things. If I hear in your song that you're not doing bad things, I won't do them. If you say you are doing bad things, I might do them. Do you know what I mean? I don't necessarily feel like I have that same responsibility, which, which frees me up to create in in a, in, a, in a looser way. Do you want it? No, I mean... No part of you. Uh, as a rapper, you want to be the best rapper, right? But mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I, I've always just been been happy to be part of the conversation. For a long time when I was at school, I wasn't part of the conversation. Everyone was like, yeah, this guy just can't do anything. The other day, yeah, your brother, Jamie, mm-hmm. um, I was in Liverpool and I saw him and I've, I've been a fan of his for a long time and I think that he kind of spoke to me as someone who was like, un, like unwavered in the way of being like, this is what I'm about. I don't care what everyone else is doing. I'm going to do these things. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I love that. But I know that he's from that, 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 that scene, that side of the world. And those guys, not necessarily don't rate me, but I'm, I'm not on their agenda. Mm-hmm. And he came over to me and he was like, oh, I rate your stuff. And that for me is bigger than any award. Do you know what I mean? Like someone like him, who I grew up listening to, yeah. who is surrounded by music and that I respect a lot, you know, and it was on Channel U, but like when I was like, like 10 years old. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So like, for me, that's that's the award. Do you know what I mean? When someone like him goes, yo, I, I rate your stuff. I, like, I see your videos. I like your videos. I like what you're doing. It's different. Yeah. That's it. I, I, like, I, I shook Kano's hand. He was like, yo, I rate what you're doing. That for me is like, yo, you're my guys because you're my heroes. Yeah. I don't I don't like, need any more than that. 